Oh look. <laughs> I don't know how I made it do that. What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we are going to unbox and test the Adventure Force Sidewinder. Now the one that I will be testing is the Polaris RZR RS1 edition. I don't know if there's other editions or not, but this is the one that I have. Now on the rest of the box, it says it requires two AA batteries for the remote back there, but it has them included. The car has a USB charger to charge it up, and it says it has extreme sliding action. I don't know if that means it drives sideways or if there's like an option to, but we'll find that out. Now it also says precision control RC vehicle, a rechargeable lithium ion battery, which that's what that charger's for, and a 2.4 gigahertz radio. Now I don't see anywhere on the box where it says how far it can go from the controller, but don't worry because we'll find that out later. And this is why it's always good to read the box because I completely missed that it says it drives diagonally right there. So that'll be very fun to see how that works out. Now it also says age is six plus. I think that means six months in order. So yes, yeah, for everyone. And of course, like always, if you want to buy this or check it out, link will be in the description if you want to do that. And now we are going to unbox it. Now after unboxing it, this is everything that you get. Now let me tell you, this was not the easiest to unbox. Which I guess that's good because that means less people can steal it. Now for the owner's manual, this says New Bright, but the box said Adventure Force. But New Bright and Adventure Force are both Walmart brands, so that makes sense. But this is your owner's manual if you want to read that. Now these are the two AA batteries that you get in the box. Let's just open these real quick. They are some power cell batteries. This is actually kind of hard to get out. Some power cell batteries, double A. I'm sure they'll last a pretty good time. Now for the remote, it is a pretty lightweight remote and nothing is proportional on it, which is what you would expect for a $15 car. However, that power craze back there does have a proportional throttle. Now for the rest of this remote, this buttons are pretty satisfying to click actually. I don't see any power switch on it which means once the batteries go in it's an always on remote and then the batteries go in right there now for the car itself we have these roller things on the on the wheels that must make it go side to side and then some shock absorbers i don't think they do much but they look cool these doors look like they open but they don't i've tried it and the power cord is stored into here and then this is the off and on switch now something weird I noticed is when you turn this wheel this way, this one up here will turn the same way. And same goes for this. That must also help to make it go sideways. Now the rollers for this, they are also rubber. So that'll really help with your grip driving it. And then it also appears that you can take off these tires if like a piece of hair or something gets caught in there and slows it down. So that's pretty nice. Now to charge the car, what you do is you pull down on this little tab right here. And then you have to pull really hard on it. And then this cord comes out. Then you get one of your power bricks and you just put it right into there. Now, once you do that, this red light will turn on. And once it's done charging, that'll turn off. Now to power the remote, you just need to put your two AA batteries into here. Either the ones they gave you or the ones you have at your house, it doesn't matter. So now the car has finished charging and that light did turn off when it was done, so that does show you when it's done charging. Now you just shove this into here. Now it is a little bit difficult to get that cord up in there, but you'll get used to it over time. Now to turn the car on, you get the switch, switch it on, and the remote is already on. Let's see how this thing drives. I'm gonna press throttle. So it does drive straight with the throttle. Oh, okay. So the steering, when you steer it left and right, that's what makes it go slide back and forth like that. And it also looks like it has a lot of speed too. 
And for 15 bucks, that's pretty nice. So let's go outside and start testing it. Now let's see how it does outside. So it's not too slow. Oh look, <laughs> I don't know how I made it do that, but apparently you can wheelie sometimes too. So that's forward and back. This is steering left and right. So you can't really steer, but it does slide back and forth. It's, it'll take some time getting used to it, but you'll be able to get it. It's actually pretty fun. Now we are going to see how far this car can go away from the controller using this measuring tape. So it has finally lost signal all the way back there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's pretty far away. So we're gonna go measure that. Look how far it went. 158 feet for a $15 RC car. That is some crazy distance for something like that. All these cars I've been reviewing lately have been going so far from the controller, which is really awesome because you'll be wanting to drive it in big places and you will be able to do it with these cars. After doing everything that I did with this car, I would say this thing is very fun and very unique in a good way to have. The only downsides that I have about this car is that the steering will take some getting used to and the fact that you have to fit the charger up in the bottom of it. Other than that, this thing is really cool. The battery lasts a long time and it doesn't take long at all to charge. And not only is it fun to have, but it also looks really cool too. The headlights on there look real. The inside of it, the interior looks all real and it's really sturdy actually and the fact that they made these things rubber right here is also cool because most cars you'll find like this they're plastic and they won't get the grip but this one gets a lot of grip when you use it now it's also really cool to see how far away this can go from the controller which means you can drive it in pretty big places without worrying about disconnecting and this controller is also really nice for your hand the way you hold it is comfortable which will allow you to play with it longer and that's pretty nice that will now conclude our review for this car. I loved making a video on this car today because it was very fun to use. And I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Stay awesome. Peace. Oh.